Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is John from TechSize and today I have another Noxshaw product to look at in a bit more detail. We're going to do an unboxing, overview and install and I will have some performance results as well. I'm going to split these videos into smaller chunks so do check the description and links to the right in the playlist. So we've already looked at the NHU9S which you can see in the back here. I've put the additional fan on there and I'm still waiting to test that. This product is slightly different. This is a D-type cooler rather than the U-type. And something a little bit more interesting about this is because they do both share the claim of better compatibility for RAM and particularly the PCI Express slot on the mini ITX platform. This product is actually smaller in terms of height which is going to give us more compatibility with cases particularly marked out here for the full 3UM compliance. So as I did in my past video, I will just jump through the specs quickly and leave you guys the opportunity to pause the videos here if you want to read absolutely everything. I'm just going to pick out the ones of great importance and that's going to be the dimensions. We've got a height of 110 millimeters by 95 into for width and our depth of 95. So I've just brought the box back in of the 9US just so you can see the difference in terms of the overall height and the width and the depth. You can just pause the video here if you want to see any of the differences. So I am quite curious about this product because the L would indicate large and you've just seen the box side by side. The box is bigger but it is a smaller heatsink in terms of height. So we will have a side by side comparison in another segment of the video. Again if you want to pause this section and read them you may do so. I am just going to jump ahead for the sake of keeping these a little bit shorter. On to the actual specs. Again, everything is pretty self explanatory You can just have a glimpse through if you want to. It's pretty standard in terms of Noxua. By that I mean you've got great compatibility for past and future sockets because Noxua will provide you with new mounting kits. The secure firm mounting system is so easy to work with. This product is dual fan ready. We get additional clips. It's PWM. Uh, we're, we're using the same fan as the other product I've just showed you, the smaller nine centimeter, and particularly of above all is the low profile design. So what we'll do is a quick tour of what's inside, and then we'll have a look at the product side by side. And as I say. Do check the links below and the playlist if you're just looking for one particular part of this review, so to speak. So the first thing we come across is our mounting system. It's going to be exactly the same as our past video if you have already seen it. Indicates on the left we've got Intel and then we've got our AMD. In terms of accessories we've got optional clips for a second fan, the lower noise adapter, thermal compound and screwdriver. So these in the past have been separated off into smaller separate boxes and now they are all bundled together. So I will just go through this again. If you've seen the past video you may want to jump ahead. So we have a separate document for 2011 generic LGA115X and all those similar sockets and an AMD document. We've got specific plates for the AMD which is our washouts and our bolts and that such. And then we have the Intel set. There's a little bit more in there because it covers 2011 as well. And then we've got our thermal compound, additional clips, uh, Noxua badge. Uh, there's a low noise adapter in there. And as always, the legendary Noxua screwdriver, which as I've said, I use in every install when possible because it's so good, it's so helpful. I'm really pleased that that's still in there. And then we've got the back plate, which I'll just quickly show you guys because I am going to be using this in the install video. So the contents, if you've been looking at the past video, you'll already know are identical in terms of what's included. So let's have a closer look at the actual heatsink. It's boxed and packaged in a very different manner to the last one. And no doubt I'm going to get this upside down. So we'll just take this one out. A little bit of encouragement. And I'm actually baffled as to how this is going to come off. There we go. There's nothing in this bottom part, I don't think. 
and it is just a case of working out where do I make my mark and put up on this thing. And there we are, it all folds out to reveal the heatsink. So I'm just going to get all this packaging out of the way. So this is the cooler, as you can see it's got the pre-fitted fan and we'll just get this additional packaging out of the way so you guys can see. And I just want to bring in the other cooler so put the emphasis on the two different designs of D-Type and U-Type. Now you can see it's extremely obvious about this change in overall height. This is going to help greatly when it's mounted in your case in this orientation and you're looking in on it because it's so much smaller and that's going to allow you to work in a smaller case and we have got the pre-fitted fan already and as I mentioned there are clips to add a secondary fan and this is going to really depend on your setup where your memory slots are how you fit it and of course we will be testing what the benefits are of the additional fan on both coolers um, I'm going to hazard a guess that we're talking about a degree or two difference but you know that will differ for everyone's setup and whether you can actually fit one is another matter so do take into consideration it's not only the height but if you purchase another fan you're you know it's obviously going to be a lot wider as well and you need to factor in any components that could be in this area so just looking at the product from a sort of top down view you can see that we have four heat pipes per side and obviously got the fan in the middle the heat sort of fin density is very very tight and similar to the other cooler so we'll just remove this and we're just going to put them down on that angle so you can see the bases it's going to be more sort of that way just so you guys can get a bit of a feel of the difference between the two it is extremely compact and it is going to be a very interesting test when I pit these against one another in terms of thermal results. I'm very, very curious how they are going to perform. So that is sort of your brief look, and Mario's just given up and fallen over, of the two new Noxua 9 series coolers. We've got the NH9US on the right and the NH9DL on the left. Now, as I said, the, the naming scheme's a little bit odd because the 9L to me would indicate that it was gonna be the larger of the two, but that's not the case as you can see. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next section of the video.